Okay, there's two separate but connected reports. One, that the Republicans are trying to turn our country into a Christian government. A fascist, fanatical Christian government. I will not follow the rules of a government that is most likely going to be racist and most certainly going to be against women's rights. I will not follow that. I will buck it in every way I can. I'd much rather live free in prison than live imprisoned in society. I will not follow it. And uh, there's a second report that Texas wants to secede from the United States of America, especially if the Democrats win the supermajority in the Senate come 2022, this November, or and if the Democrats keep the Oval Office in 2024. My comment to that? Go for it! But remember one thing. Well, actually, first a warning. Anybody who is black, Latino, Asian, Native America, Muslim, or dark-skinned in any way, my suggestion to you, escape now. Or tolerate the, me the uh, laws of Texas. That is until Mexico decides they want their land back and attacks them. And once Mexico attacks them, Texas don't be coming to a democratic country of the United States of America for help to stave them off. You'll get what you wanted. You want to be free of America? Then be free of America. Don't come crying to us when Mexico comes to take their land back. You'll get what you wanted. Let's see how well you fight Mexico off. And, uh, hope you're happy being a Mexican citizen. Because when you come to crossing the border to become an American citizen again, after you give up your right to be an American citizen by seceding from America, don't expect we're going to give you that right back. We're going to say, Sayonara, sucker! And on top of that, the rest of America gets to see what kind of government the Republicans truly want in a smaller scale. What kind of America they want. I'll tell you one thing, it's not going to be the kind of America where the little guy can get in and succeed at anything. It's going to be the kind of America that caters to the rich and big business. Little business? <clears throat> you might as well figure on folding now. Or never being able to to grow. Because that's what's going to happen to you. The only thing that will run in Texas world is any business that gives money to the head of the government that is put in place down there. And if they can't give to the head of the government 
then they will end up going out of business. You're going to have to live off a of black market. Oh, yeah, you'll have your McDonald's because they will be part of a big conglomerate. But your government will own part of it. You'll have your pizza huts. But the same thing will happen. The government will choose who will benefit off of their capitalism, their brand of capitalism. And Lord's sakes, if you live in a poorer part of the country, say a small town like Plum Grove, don't be expecting your new government to respect your land. Your new government is going to take your land for that new big development. And then they'll sell it back to you. No matter if your family has owned that land right out for centuries and generations, it won't matter to them. Hell, they'll turn your land into the next flood pond. Just because you're fighting the fact that they're already developing over there and flooding your land. I suggest you pack up your animals and get the hell out before you can't anymore. Because big development, big business, big corporations, the rich are the ones that's going to be ru ruling your land. <laughs> and you think the cartel is a problem in Mexico right now? If it benefits the Texas government, the cartel will be living in Texas. So, Con, please, do secede. I really want to see it when you come crying to America for help because Mexico wants their land back. I really want to see that. You think that having a democracy is bad? See what happens when you live under an autocracy. And besides that, you secede from America and put your form of government in. And the American people start seeing what your form of government is. <laughs> You're just going to drive the citizens of America to vote in more Democrats. And to seek for Republicans who aren't quite as radical as you. You're going to watch your citizens leave your country in droves. Because you won't be a state anymore. You'll be your own little country. And you'll see American citizens leaving your little country in droves. And you will be vulnerable to countries like Mexico. And any other country that wants to come and attack you and get a foothold in America. Oh, maybe you'll let Russia take over. And expect them to attack America. And expect America not to push back. And demolish you in the process. So yeah, go ahead, secede, but don't you try to do your religious government here in this democracy. You disgrace our forefathers, 
every single one of them. They seceded from the British government for the exact same reasons. You want a Christian government, and you want to secede from America. Our forefathers fought against the British government for those exact same principles that you hold. So you go back to your damn ass dark ages. We'll stay in our democracy. We don't need you. But you will need us. And let's see how sorry you are when we're not there to help you.